my name is Sabine and welcome to another reading vlog. Right now I have a lot of finals and deadlines because it is my last week of uni. Usually this would have been my last week of uni for my bachelor's degree, but because I have a delay, it's just the end of my third year almost, but I still need to attend uni until the end of January and then I will hopefully have my bachelor's degree of biomedical sciences. So today it is June 17th. Tomorrow I have my final for youth and sexuality, so I need to read a lot of articles today and just repeat everything to hopefully get a good grade for that exam. Next week on Wednesday the 24th I have last final for developmental biology and on the 26th I have a paper due and then I'm done. Then I have summer vacation for two months and like what am I gonna do? My vacation is canceled. I'm not gonna go because I just don't want to take the risk. Okay, so let's show you guys what I'm currently reading. I have finished three books this month until so far and I'm currently reading two. So the three books that I've already read, you will see that in my May and June wrap up. So let's grab the books that I'm currently reading. So first of all, I'm still currently reading White Fragility by Robin DiAngelo and overall I'm learning lots of things regarding racism and the term of like white fragility and white privilege. I'm learning a lot from this book but after this I will definitely dive more into non-fiction books about racism written by black authors but I also just started a new book and I think this book is perfect for the mood that I'm currently in and that is Date Me Bryson Keller by Kevin Van Wy. This is a South African author which is really cool. I've never read a book by a South African author speaking about racism, the Dutch and the South African people have some history. This is an LGBTQYA romance novel and I think I'm in the perfect mood for a book like this. I will read the back for you guys. Everyone at Fairfield Academy knows Bryson Keller, the super hot soccer captain who doesn't believe in high school relationships. They also know about the Dare Bryson Accepted. Each week he has to date the first person who asks him out. A single school week is all anyone gets. There have been no exceptions to this. None until me that is, because brilliant Bryson Keller forgot one thing. He never said it could only be girls. So yesterday, as you guys can see, I read a little bit. I'm on page 38 out of the 330 something. So I've read about 10% of the book. And our main character, Kai, I believe is his name, has just asked Bryson Keller as like, I'm gonna be your date for this week and you have to accept me. So Kai is our main character. He is a closeted gay teen, but by asking Bryson out, he kind of like came out to one of the most popular guys in school. So I think we will explore that also in this book. He is also part of a mixed race family. So I think some things about racism will be talked about as well. I just had a meeting about my developmental biology paper with my group and right now I'm gonna read some in this book outside because it's still nice weather. I'm already just like really enjoying it and I feel like this is the perfect book for the mood that I'm in right now. I just want to have a romance, a nice romance and I hope that I'm gonna get that out of this book. So let's see how this will go. There's actually quite a like thunderstorm going on. It even sounded like lightning struck somewhere really nearby. My eyes just hurt so much from looking at my screen all day today because I had to read or like skim over all of these papers for my youth and sexuality exam. But I've also read a little bit more in Date Me Bryson Keller and oh my God, I just want to read it like all the time. And it's been such a long time since I've had that feeling. Let me just take off my glasses for the glare. So I'm gonna eat in a bit, but I'm almost at page 100 of this book. Bryson Keller is like the popular guy in high school. Like, it just sounds like such a stereotype, but until so far, he's just so extremely nice and so extremely thoughtful. It almost feels like we're being lured into a trap here. Something has to go wrong is what is happening in my mind. I'm so hesitant to fully love what is going on because I'm just like probably gonna get ruined in like a couple of pages. They just had breakfast together at this diner and I don't know why but breakfasts at diners just seem like one of the cutest things ever and I wish that I could have a date like that all of the time. That would be like perfect for me. Just a slow morning, waking up together, going out for breakfast. It just, uh, it seems so 
lovely. Good morning, guys. Okay, so it is June 18th. My final is happening in like less than three hours at 2 p.m. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna read my summary thing a bit more. It's an open book exam, so I can keep all of my notes with me and papers and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna make it all ready for the exam. And then hopefully I'm gonna nail this. I have a feeling that it's gonna be fine, but I find the subject so interesting, so I want to be really good at it. But have I really put like that much effort into learning in the past couple of days that is questionable <laughs> so after recording this i didn't really give you guys an update yet so let future sabine from the beginning of july tell you how it all went for this final i got a 9.1 out of 10 which i maybe did not deserve but i'm really glad that i did get it and now let's go on to sabine from june 19th giving you guys a reading update <sighs> hi i have read 34% of white fragility. I still need to read quite a big part of it, but I have continued on with Date Me Bryson Keller. I'm almost halfway through and it is just like so adorable and I love it. But it's not a five-star read. Bryson Keller just seems so extremely perfect. It's nearly impossible. It's like he's not even a real person anymore and it seems almost impossible for him to be the stereotypical jock, high school, super popular boy, you know? Contemporaries like these, I just know when I'm in the mood for it. Like it's a book that I can read in a couple of days and usually it takes a long time for me to finish a book. Okay, so let's go get some breakfast. After that, I will play some Animal Crossing, maybe read some more in Date Me, Bryce and Keller, and then I will do some uni stuff and respond to people's emails because I'm so bad at that. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. I literally vlog at the same spot every single day. So I should change that up a little bit because otherwise I'm gonna guess this vlog is gonna be pretty boring for you guys. Today it is Saturday the, wait, what? Saturday the 20th of June. After I ate my breakfast yesterday, I didn't vlog anything anymore. I'm so bad at vlogging. Like, why do you watch this? Today, I need to watch one other lecture and just, I need to study a bit, okay? I just need to push through these next four days and then I'm done. I had decided for myself that today was gonna be a pajamas only day, but then I realized that tonight I'm in the fandom quiz live show, which is hosted by Karis from Library of Karis. She has made all these amazing quizzes before already. I've been on the Harry Potter one and on the Disney one as well and absolutely adored it like so much. Karis puts so much effort in those quizzes. So tonight I will be in round three and this one is dedicated to Sherlock and I love Sherlock with my whole heart but what I've noticed until so far with these quizzes is like I consider myself to be a fangirl, okay? But is my knowledge actually that detailed? of that show or movie franchise or whatever. Apparently not so much. <laughs> but yeah, today again the same plans as for the past couple of days. So it's really quite boring. Study, read some in my book. I do have like some opinion things that I want to share with you guys about Date Me Bryce and Keller. So let's grab the book. <sighs> okay, so with Date Me Bryce and Keller, I am over halfway through the book. And I think some of you guys might know this about me, but one of my biggest pet peeves in book is insta-love. And maybe like on the rare occasion, I think it's like worked out well enough and I don't really mind. But in this book, there is definitely some insta-love going on. On one hand, I do mind because it's just something that I don't like with books in general. But then again, like what else was I expecting to get from a rom-com contemporary book? Like I cannot really complain about it though. Falling for someone like so quickly and I'm just so not like that. I fall in love rarely actually now that I'm thinking about it. Like I do find people kind of like attractive or something but it takes a long long time for me to kind of develop any love feelings if I can explain it like that. So maybe that's also why I don't love insta love and books just because I find it so hard to believe. Kai, our main character, at the beginning of this book he had a crush on someone and right now he's hanging out with Bryson Keller for only like three days and he's already like feeling all the things for Bryson at the moment but he's already like so sentimental because he asked Bryson out at a certain spot and then like three days later he's like this was the spot where I asked Bryson out and I'm like yes you did. <laughs> yes you did. And he's already like Ah, oh, my routine with Bryson. I cannot imagine my life without it. I'm like, it's three days ago since this all started. I don't really mind, but then again, I do. But I mean, I can still say it, right? I mean, I still have an opinion. I can still say it. Like, they've only just gotten to know each other for like three days. Before that, they were just friendly and not even friends. So I'm like, 
you really cannot imagine your life without him anymore right now like really it sounds like i'm being so negative right now but i still love it yesterday i edited my lgbtq recommendations video and i did like the basics so now i'm gonna finish the edit with a little bit more of like effects in between and i need to do some little animations and like hint lettering and stuff make a thumbnail and then i can like upload that video and schedule it for tomorrow on sunday guys today it is june 22nd it is 4 45 p.m in the afternoon and i haven't moved in a long time so the weather is so so nice outside right now so i'm gonna go on a walk and i think that on my walk i will be oh shit my phone is 25 percent let's put it on the charger but i still have like my free scribed script don't know how to pronounce that app's name trial and I want to read Dear Yawele, Yaw I don't know how to say that name, or a feminist manifesto in 15 suggestions by Shimamanda Ngozi Adichie. This is a one hour long audiobook, so I'm hoping to be listening to that on my walk and finish it in one go. I just finished one of her other nonfiction books, was We Should All Be Feminist, and I really enjoyed it. So now I'm gonna listen to her other short story nonfiction work just to be on the move and also learn and a couple of new things. Yeah, let's take my camera with me because you are constantly only here in my room, which is probably really boring. So I'm gonna take my camera with me, okay. <laughs> look and feel so amazing and so sweaty but I did a walk I did some physical exercise so that feels great but I also finished Dear EOLA a feminist manifesto in 15 suggestions apparently I cannot speak oh my god I loved it so much. I think Shimamanda Ngozi Adichie is gonna be one of my new favorite authors. I'm pretty sure that she has written and has published fiction as well, but this is nonfiction, and she basically writes a letter to one of her friends who asked her advice on how to raise her daughter as a feminist. By the way, you should also just raise your boys to be feminists as well, because feminism is not only restricted to females, that's I think maybe part of the issue as well, is that men find it very difficult to consider themselves feminists and to actually say it out loud. And this letter was absolutely wonderful. It talked about a lot of issues the whole world still has going on. Even in Western cultures, there are still just so many underlying assumptions about what did she talk about? About, for instance, the idea of marriage and that females are always expected to adapt their surname, their last name to the one of the male. That in some cultures, the female is valued or validated, how do you say it? Valued more when she has her husband's last name. The lighting is so annoying. It talks about the gender norms that society puts on us. I share the same thoughts as society on certain things. And now that I'm getting older, I'm questioning it more and more and I'm learning more and more. Just know that this was an amazing short nonfiction book. I'm gonna have some food. Just know that I love this book to pieces. Can someone please tell me where my motivation is to study? It is, what time is it? It is 4.45 in the afternoon and I literally only did one practical, which I should have done last week. And I haven't revised anything and tomorrow is my final. It's gonna be A-OK. -okay. <laughs> Call that productivity and time management. Oh, I'm so bad, but I'm also like so done with school. 
but I am almost done, so that's the good news. This is the book that I've been using. What I'm gonna do tonight is I'm gonna look through the chapters that I had to study for this final. I'm probably like boring you out with this stuff. I mean, I feel bored already, but I might be sitting in the shadow in the garden and we'll be reading more in Date Me Bryson Keller. I am on page 205 out of the 320 or something, so I'm definitely past the halfway mark. It's cute, but some things happened which I predicted from like the beginning already. So it is a predictable rom-com contemporary, but yeah. As I've told you guys in a previous clip, can I really complain about it when that was the thing that I was expecting? But I am still enjoying it. It's not as if this is a shitty book or something. Let's go downstairs. Let's go read a bit in this book and study some more because it's almost vacation time. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> It is Wednesday. It is Wednesday, my dudes. The 24th of June, 5 p.m. in the afternoon, which means I finished my exam. I have summer vacation. First, I'm gonna finish my book. Yesterday, I read such a big chunk of Date Me Bryson Keller, and if I had to describe this book in one word, I would say wholesome, but it definitely deals with some important topics as well, like kind of figuring out your sexuality, but also coming out to your loved ones, and also seeing how their reaction is and trying to process that. So I only need to read, let's see, I'm on page 287. Let's say I need to read about 50 pages, so I will definitely be finishing it to Day. So let's go outside and read this book and finish it. A few moments later. I look really not that great, but we're gonna end the vlog right here because I just finished Date Me Bryson Keller by Kevin Van Wy, and my final verdict is I'd give this book a three and a half out of five stars. This was a highly enjoyable rom-com contemporary book. However, there were some things in the book that didn't make it like a four or a five star read for me. So first of all, the writing style, it was a whole lot of telling and not really showing, which is not my favorite. The characters, especially Bryce and Keller, seemed just too perfect, like too good to be true. I don't know if that's really like a good critique to have on a book, but it was something that, um, that I noticed and that bothered me a little bit. I did love Kai, our main character's little sister called Jazz. She's the most sassy 13 year old and I'm pretty sure that she would be best friends with Kitty from To All The Boys I Loved Before who is really sassy as well. I really like that a big part of the story also revolved around Kai's family. And with that, I will be finishing my first summer reading vlog. So yeah, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you will watch more of my summer vlogs and that you had a good time and that you will be having a good summer as well. And now all I want to say is I hope that I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!